So what we have here is we have a 2004 F350 with a six liter. The complaint is start stall, then extended crank. So what happens here is you get it in in the morning after overnight soak or after it sat for, you know, a few hours, you go to start it. Well, it'll light up, sounds perfect. Then the fire will go out. Then you'll crank, 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 crank. Watch the oil pressure needle on the dash. No oil pressure. As soon as it gets oil pressure, you know, just a few seconds later, it'll start up. So I pulled the oil filter out of it, you know, after I had it running and it sat for, I don't know, overnight, I guess. And of course it was empty. I mean, it didn't have anything in it. So what I did, I wanted to test this, uh, down in there, there's an anti-drain back valve, that black straight down there. When you pull the filter out, it'll drain this housing so that, uh, you know, you're not slopping oil all over the place when you put the filter back in. So I tested that, you know, that isn't leaking, but I, I weighted it down because I wanted to see how fast this went down. So I filled that up with oil to the bottom of the spring here. And on the top here, you have these slots. That's where the oil comes in. It pressurizes this housing, goes through the filter, and then your oil goes down this standpipe. So it drained out pretty fast. So, you know, to understand what is going on here, you have to understand how the oiling system works on this thing. So I've got a an oil cooler over here that I... Uh, an old one. I don't know. I must have put a bulletproof oil cooler on something, but I always kind of try to save these parts. So this is our oil cooler. So the oil comes up from the oil pump through the block right here. Goes into the oil cooler, comes out of the oil cooler, and you see this D-shaped boss here. And that D-shaped boss is right underneath of the standpipe so the oil's coming in kind of demonstrate this oil's coming in right here being pumped through the cooler comes out of the cooler there's a uh, anti-drain back valve right here it comes through fills this up when it gets to the top of the standpipe it goes through the slots comes down into the the uh, that spot uh, that has the the uh, well you can see my finger in there that's where the standpipe sits. So your uh, pressurized oil is filling this chamber right here. And, and in this chamber, we're gonna have oil temperature and then oil uh, pressure back here. So you're filling this up. You know, it's charging this all up here. I don't, uh, your turbo feed comes off of here. So that's why they're, that's why we have this chamber here. So we can feed the turbo right there. But it's, uh, more importantly, the job here is it's, you know, pressurizing this area right here. So, and that would be this right here. And if you look in there, you can see the oil cooler. So you're pressurizing underneath this where the reservoir is, but you're also sending oil straight down this area right here. And you have, I'm gonna make a mess, but in the name of science, if you'll see that oval, area there that feeds the uh well let's go over and look at it i've got a block over here in the messy corner so you've got these two holes here or ports here and they go down this one goes down you got a oil gallery right there you got one right here you're feeding both of these this one is going to feed on this side of the engine bank two it's going to feed your piston cooling jets your uh lifters you know all of that crap over there uh this one over here is going to feed the same thing but it also is going to go through the camshaft and then down down to feed your rods and mains here so we may and i don't remember we might be getting oil from both sides to the cam bearings here and then we're sending oil down you know down to all of our main bearings, which is gonna go through the crankshaft and oil your rods at the same time. So uh, oil's gonna come in right there, go through your oil pump, go through that port right there, which comes out right there, which is gonna feed your oil cooler. So every bit of oil that comes out of the oil pan is going to 
first it comes out right there it's first going to go through your cooler and then it's going to come out of your cooler and then it's going to charge uh, this chamber right here and feed everything below it here your high pressure reservoir down there plus your rods mains uh, cooling jets uh, cam bearings and uh, lifters so the oil pump I mean it's it's a pretty busy son of a gun it's got a lot of work to do so it's it's a really high volume oil pump moves a, a lot of oil so I've seen this a couple of times um, so what I have going on here is I'm pretty sure that my high pressure oil pump is leaking there's a uh, this has the swash plate the round pump on it I can't remember where uh, I believe it has some kind of a spill port on it somewhere so what I'm gonna find when I get all of this off I'll, I'll put some oil in my reservoir under there and then we'll let it sit and this seems to drain off pretty fast and I'm pretty sure we're going to see that oil coming right you know going right through the pump draining that down when it's drawing that down the anti uh, drain back valve in here which is right there it's probably you know it could be all tore up and it could be could be leaking a little bit or have it it's a a round piece of rubber like a rubber washer it's probably leaking and that's what's pulling the oil out of this as well if that wasn't leaking i'm not so sure that it wouldn't still have kind of the same problem but uh, anyway so what i'm going to do i'm going to tear all this apart and then we're going to uh, do a little test and see if our uh, high pressure oil pump is leaking so he originally took it to the ford dealer and they told him it needed an oil pump and i he he didn't know if it needed a low pressure i mean i was under the impression they thought the low pressure oil pump was bad but i tested that i mean i can hit the starter there and uh it'll start pumping oil right away so there's nothing wrong with our base oil pump i believe it's our high pressure oil pump you know that drives the injector so i'm gonna whip this all apart boy this thing's filthy we got a lot of work to do whip it all apart real quick and uh, i'll fill that reservoir up and we'll see if it leaks which I'm sure it's going to. So a little addendum here, I forgot to mention. We also, you know, we have, this is where our oil comes up right here. There's a rubber washer on there that seals that anti-drain back. We have the little drain back valve for our filter. When we remove our filter, it'll drain the housing. But we also have this bypass right here. So um, I'm not really sure what their thinking was on that. Uh, I'm assuming that it has to do with cold weather, you know, when the oil viscosity is, you know, when the oil's thicker, it may bypass some oil in there. But the other thing that you need to keep in mind too, and I always check these when I have these off when I'm doing an oil cooler, make sure those flaps are sealing those washers on there. Uh, if this one was tore up and, and leaking, then you're actually bypassing, because your oil's coming in right here, you're actually gonna bypass some of your oil. You're gonna bypass the cooler. It's not all gonna go through the cooler. And, you know, yeah, that could probably contribute to your uh, oil temperature. So, you know, you want to check that too. But uh, I didn't mention that and I, I thought I would. So, um, but like I said, I'm not exactly sure what the thinking was there. I mean, I can't imagine that it would be, you know, a scenario where if your the oil part of your stack plate cooler was plugged up, you know, it would bypass and ensure that you got oil to all your vitals. But, you know, if, if there's shit big enough in there to plug that up, then you're gonna have, you know, problems downstairs, big serious problems downstairs. So it really isn't gonna matter if you bypass the oil or not, because your engine's, you know, pretty much fucked. But uh, anyway, thought I'd mention that.